Okay, welcome everyone again. Finally, uh, we have another video coming up here. This one is called how to create mega menus for large catalog e-commerce stores. And so in this topic, we're going to get right to it for those that are actually thinking about revamping their main menu system, right? They don't want just a generic main menu system. They want something where it's a little bit more robust, where it has large, large catalogs. So let's get right to it. Thank you uh, for joining on this uh, video. So right away, what I'm going to tell you is that if you are new to the channel and you appreciate topics like this because you want to build your store, not asking for money, but please subscribe. Please subscribe and also press the like button so that I could continue to create more content like this. I'm super, super Super busy making websites but I'm thinking about you guys so all I ask from you is just press that like button and let's get down to business so one of the reasons why I actually created this video is because of a comment so see I'm listening to you guys and I'm making videos because of your comment literally a few days ago not even less than a week uh, a great youtuber called Asmita Wandre he asked this video was very helpful meaning the previous video thank you so much but I still have a query uh, we uh, we create main menus and we could create drop menus also. Uh, I want to create subcategories. Uh, let's say, for example, you have the main menu where it says shirt, and then a drop down where it says uh, catalog. Uh, excuse me, a drop down for casual and formal. So let's say he has shop, right? So he says, suppose I want to create a subcategories like printed, checkered, stripe for the casual menu. Should I do the same like the drop down menu or should drag it like the menu? Please help. I'm getting very confused. I totally, totally, totally understand. So the answer to this question, I'm going to go back to again, one of my favorite themes out there. Um, my favorite theme currently is turbo. I like I use turbo a lot. Um, and it's basically what he's asking for is perhaps something similar to this right here. So what what this is, this is called the mega menu. It's not a menu where it's just a simple drop down where it just vertically drops down. Instead, you see at the top where it says buy turbo shop gallery theme info. Think of it like home shop shop and then contact us about us those are the highest menus but the moment that you uh drop down into shop you have sub menus and the first sub menu is women's apparel men's apparel yoga bags yoga mats yoga props shop deals but then the sub sub menu for women's apparel is tops bottoms accessories right so let's take for example what he's trying to say is if you have shop, but then all of a sudden you have men's uh, men's apparel. And then under men's apparel, he'll have tops or like t-shirts, uh, jeans, and so and so. And then women's apparel, you know, pants, shirts. You get the point, right, guys? So this video, I'm going to teach you how to accomplish this. And one of the first steps, click on the link on the bio, uh, on, the, on the description below, uh, listen, listen to me talking Instagram. Click on the link on the description below and you'll notice a link for Turbo. Turbo does this effectively. There's many other themes that does the same thing too. There's other themes that just don't, but Turbo does it the best because it's extremely organized and extremely easy. And so let's go right ahead into how we can get this done. Okay guys, so right now I'm in my demo store, which is the coffee shop. Um, in my previous videos, I talk about this. And one of the first things that I'm going to do is, let me just kind of plan this out with you guys, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the left. Let me increase uh, the viewership, because I don't want you guys saying, hey, I like your video, but I can't see anything. I hope you guys can see now. Anyhow, so we're gonna go right here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and click on online store. Once I click on online store, I'm going to go to where it says navigation. I'm going to set up my structure for navigation, okay? And we're going to go and uh, edit some of the stuff that we have here. If you haven't done this already, make sure that you do. Uh, once again, I remind you, if you haven't seen how the main navigation is set up, uh, watch my other video that talks more about that. And we have the basic stuff, right? Except that the about us for some reason, what's up with that? What's up with that capital letter, right? Uh, by the way, pound pound means that upon click, it doesn't move anywhere. So if you're unsure what this is going to be mapped out to, you could go ahead and press pound. I'm going to do that and I'll press save, okay? So once that is there, this is the next step, all right? This is the next step. Uh, let's back out into navigation. 
Uh, or you could click on navigation here so you could see the full mapping. This is the highest level of all navigations, okay? So we have one navigation called the main menu, and we have another one that's called search that we haven't touched yet, right? But in this example, uh, it's a coffee business, so I'm going to pretend that I'm say, hey, shop, right? And then I am going to say that the first main subcategory is going to be Colombian coffee, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say add menu, right? Uh, Colombian coffee. I don't know if I'm spelling that correctly. I think I spelled it incorrectly. I want to say that it's spelled with you, but leave the comments and let me know if I spelled that incorrectly. Like, hey, bro, that's misspelled. Let me know if I misspelled this. <laughs> anyway, so Colombian coffee, right? Or Colombian roast. How about that? And right here, I'm going to say roast. Okay. Again, I have no idea where this is going yet. I'm simply pressing uh, the hashtag, right? Or the hash pound sign, whatever this is. Uh, I'm just going to put that for now. I'll change it later. I'm just trying to create structure. Uh, so right here, I'm medium roast, right? Because this is the next option, right? Medium roast. Pound. What? Pound. Right, and then light roast. Light roast. Okay, I'm gonna go right here. Pound again. Boom. That's it. Right. So Colombian roast. I have dark roast, medium roast, light roast. Um, instead of Colombian roast, let's see co coffee. All right. Boom. That's done. Okay. Now that we have this done, I don't want to continue going further unless I know what I'm doing right, guys. Don't do the same mistake that I used to do. That I used to do all of this, and then it's like, oh, man, I did this wrong. I did so much work. Test. Let's test. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go where it says online store. I'm going to go right here where it says right-click, customize. Because I don't want to lose my place. So I opened another tab. I never want to lose my place. Okay. And then from here, I see my main menus up at the top. Again, guys, I'm using Turbo. All right. And I am going to enable a switch. Enable a switch for the Mega Menu. Because as of right now, by default, Turbo's Mega Menu feature is not turned on. So if you have purchased this theme, and you're like, why isn't my Mega Menu working? Is because you have to turn on the switch. Let's go and turn on the switch. I'm gonna go right here where it says theme settings. And right here, I'm gonna go where it says Mega Menus. And I'm gonna say, I want one Mega Menu. By the way, guys, you're seeing how right here, Turbo is saying, enable Mega Menu 1. Mega Menu 2, Mega Menu 3, Mega Menu 4. What does that mean? That you could have up to five Mega Menus. I have not seen for the years in business another theme that gives me so many Mega Menus. Now, of course, they could probably be out there in Theme Forest for super cheap or whatever, right? But structured like this is impeccable. That's why I like Turbo. You might be like, oh my God, Turbo is so expensive. It's because of this, they give you everything you need, okay? So I'm just gonna enable one because this exercise is just for one. Okay, now I'm gonna press save, okay? So let's go over here. We are done, we have enabled it. Let's go back to sections. So we're gonna go back to sections and voila, we have Mega Menu 1 enabled. Let's go configure it, okay? Click on this, we have four columns. Column number one. And by the way, if I hover over it, nothing's happening still. But what does this mean for columns? Well, do you remember this? You see how there's a picture of this guy looking like he's jumping from, I don't know what he's jumping, but he looks way too happy right now with some shades on, right? And then you see the nice girl over there, all the way over there. Okay, so the guy here on the left is column number one. Women's apparel, men's apparel, column number two. Yoga bags, yoga mats, towels, column number three. Yoga props, shop deals, column number four. And the pretty girl over there, column number five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I could count. Five. Okay, remember that. All right, let's go over here. 
One, two, three, four, five. Only five can be used. If you do more than that, that's just overkill. Anyway, so what are we gonna do for number one? We just wanna test it out, so I'm gonna click on this to expand, okay? And right now I'm gonna go ahead and start deleting some stuff. So right here where it says add descriptions or whatever, I'm just gonna press delete on that. Now, if you also wanted to do a picture, you can. I'm gonna do a picture of that guy, that's up to you. I don't wanna do that, right? What I wanna do is that I wanna add a navigation and I'm gonna select this menu, and I'm gonna select Colombian coffee. I'm gonna say select, and I'm gonna press save for now. You notice a lot of my tutorials, I press save a lot. Why? Because Shopify server is on the back end. You don't know if they're doing their updates. Next thing you know, it blinks and you lost your place because you didn't save. So save frequently, otherwise you will lose your work. We did what we did for column one. Don't worry about the rest. Worry about exactly where I showed you. Navigation, Colombian coffee, okay? However, when I hover over it, it's still not working. Why? Because we have to fill this up right here, this part. So if you did this, what I just taught you right now, and it's still not working, it's because of this, guys, over here. This is tricky, okay? What should this be? This mega menu, we need to marry it to a high menu okay so the high tier menus is either shop a uh, home shop about us or contact us right so I am going to press shop and there we have it we have our one column ready to go I'm gonna press save all right so we have one of them we have Colombian coffee right we have Colombian coffee dark roast medium roast light roast they're not gonna click on anywhere because remember I was pressing those hashtags right so first go ahead and create those collections again guys if you don't know how to create your collections I got another video for that but create the collections first and then program the collections to the navigations get rid of those hash uh, those pound signs then this should work now what about this other stuff what about all this space right how do I do for the second one how do I how do I do you see where it says a column with no settings can't be used in this spacer. You see where it says that? How do you delete that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And this is column number two. And right here, you see this text. There it is. Delete that. Okay. And let's go ahead and put the next one. The next one is, let's pretend that it's this one. Right? Colombian coffee again. There it is. Right? So for the sake of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to make it pretty clean. American coffee, whatever I did to the back end. You must go to the front end. Make sure that you press save and press refresh because if you made a change to the back end, it's not gonna show up on the front end. The front end always has to refresh to get the latest and greatest from the back end. Over here, column number two, change. American. American. Save. Boom. That's number two. <laughs> number two, right? Let's pretend. <laughs> Let's pretend that we're going to get this guy's picture, right? <laughs> because when you drink coffee, that's what happens, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab that picture. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, nah, we're just going to, um, yeah, we're just going to grab that picture. Okay. So... <laughs> What's a third coffee? I love Dominican coffee. Okay, so I got the Dominican coffee there, right? Even though Bustelo's... Is Bustelo from Dominican? No, it's not. Let, let me know in the comments. Where is Bustelo from? Okay, so right here, refresh. Number three. Scroll down here. There's no text this time. Navigation. That's the third column. See? The fourth column. What can we do with the fourth column? Is the fourth column like overkill? Uh, let's see if we could just delete the fifth column because we don't need it. Let's remove that. And notice in Turbo, when you removed it, it automatically just centered everything out for you.
That's why I like Turbo. These other ones, they don't do it that way. So I, maybe I didn't need all five columns, or maybe I only need three columns, right? But I deleted one column and it automatically just adjusted it for me. So the last one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna get rid of this, and then I'm gonna go right here, and then I'm going to add this guy, okay? And now he's <laughs> and now he's part of the picture because he drank coffee, right? And coffee will get you like that. Okay, so that is how you create a uh, mega menu. The only th last trick that I wanted to show you on um, on Turbo is you remember how this one had it kind of like stacked up, where they had like two sets of menus sitting on top of each other so that you could put more subcategorization. All you have to do is. Let's pretend for a second, this is what we wanna do. We wanna put American coffee underneath Colombian coffee. Again, if I misspelled it, let me know. And then Dominican coffee will be next, like right next to it, so you could stack them, right? We're gonna go back to column number one. And right here where it says navigation menu one, we're gonna leave that right there as it is. And then menu number two, I'm gonna go right here and I'm going to say American coffee. And see how that stacked it up very nicely? Yes, that's why I like Turbo. Again, guys, if you want Turbo, uh, I would appreciate it if you just click on the link below on the description. That'll give you straight access to the Turbo version that I'm strongly recommending, the one that I'm currently using. Uh, all you have to do is just follow my videos. And also, if you guys are investing in Turbo, just leave me in the comments saying, hey, Ed, I need you to make more Turbo videos because I invested in Turbo and I want you to teach me how I could use Turbo all day Turbo style, right? But um, if I don't hear anything, then it's like you guys are trying to figure out Turbo all by yourself. And I want to make videos like this where I teach you. I'm like, all right, look, this is how you do this in Turbo. This is how you do that in Turbo. This is how you do that in Turbo, right? Let me know in the comments what you think so I could make more videos about Turbo. And because it's an expensive theme, but it has so many things and these guys are constantly updating their stuff and Me as a developer. I learn this stuff all day in my sleep while drinking coffee I get out of bed and I do that right there what this guy's doing to learn more turbo um, So let me know let me know If I should go decaf Right if I'm if I'm if you want me to talk slower Right? If you want me to just take it easy and explain to you in a radio AM voice uh, how to do turbo. Or if you want me to be energetic, let me know too. Because I don't know how you guys like these videos, okay? Thank you so much again. And please stay safe out there. Let me know. Subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe. Press that like button so that I could like boost my algorithms or whatever that thing in YouTube is. And until next time, thank you very much.